Kia ora, my name's Paul Walsh. I'm a mural artist uh, born in Rotorua, grew up in Nongataha, Wellington and London, and now I've been based in Auckland for the last 12 years. I've been described as New Zealand's most prolific street artist, which I like because it's not a value judgment. It doesn't say if I'm good or not, but I'm prolific. That's a good thing. Uh, my aesthetic is influenced by, I'd say the west coast of the US had a movement starting from around the 60s called uh, lowbrow um, and it sort of brought together surf culture, skate culture, hippie culture and comics and it sort of has a very illustrative style, uh, sort of simple sort of humour to it, it's quite light-hearted and I think uh, as an art movement that would probably be the one that I identify with the most. Now it's also called pop surrealism, it's sort of the same thing and I think that, that sums me up pretty well I think. Uh, for this particular artwork, the CRL hoarding, um, we wanted something fairly light-hearted. Well, I wanted it. <laughs> I sort of made them want it too. Uh, but I thought something that sort of reflects K Road. It's a mix of um, different styles and youth subcultures, you know, punks and goths, and you have sort of all of these different styles coming together. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to do that uh, as like an urban jungle sort of thing so you have like like it's like a jungle of animals you know you've heard it's always been said that like a big city is like a jungle you have like an ecosystem and weird creatures inhabiting it and I thought you know bring that to life with animals taking the roles of the people I've tried to incorporate the architecture that we have around here as well and uh, try and work that in as the background of the uh, the street characters that are coming out K Road is of course the centre of arts and culture in Auckland and uh, this chimp represents the struggling artists just out there trying to make a buck. I guess this one's a bit of a personal one for me, it's uh, a designer called Piggy Stardust. Not too much behind this one, I just thought it'd be really funny to have an animal that's famous for being in a flock dressed up like a non-conformist. So I'm trying to minimise my environmental impact these days. Uh, we're using spray paint art, it's almost impossible, but I'm trying to use as much roller paint as I can, acrylic paint. And I use a lot of mist tints, which you get from you know, paint shops when they mix the colours slightly wrong, and they sometimes get thrown out if they don't get bought, so I buy those and use those instead of them being chucked out. I use a lot of recycled paints, I've got a few friends that paint houses, so I get a lot of paint that they've got left over. And so I'll use these acrylic paints and sort of block out all the background colours. And so that means I'm not trying to fill in gaps with spray paint and it means I can use a lot less spray paint when I'm actually painting the pieces. I think uh, people really appreciate having artworks in the streets that tell a bit of a story or have a bit of, or make even just make you go, what's going on there? You know, why is, that a, why is there a sloth in an astronaut suit? Why is there a tuatara wearing a ruster hat? People are going to be stuck in traffic and annoyed at all the roadworks and stuff, so maybe give them something to brighten their mood, you know, put a bit of a smile on their face.